can't talk too loud. I'm actually just setting up to do some final testing with the 7mm and the 162 grain ELDX. I was coming over here on my own just to do the trajectory validation, which basically just confirms where it hits at certain distances. And as I was doing that, I just spied one fellow doe behind me. Uh, and as I was looking at that, a fox walks, walks out behind that. So it's all happening here at the moment. So I'm going to wait until I've got uh, just enough light at the end of the day um, to test the 7mm and see what actually pans out as far as animals behind me. Well, it's another half an hour gone by and the sun has uh, sort of left this valley now and it's not far off setting. So I'm going to have to make up my mind whether I have a shot with a 7mm just to do the trajectory validation. Uh, I will probably take a couple of screenshots on how you go about doing that because it is very important before you start shooting at uh, long distances, especially on live game, that you make sure you've done everything that you possibly can do to make sure you know exactly where that rifle's going to hit in any given situation. And get ready for the shot. Level that bubble. Now's the time, well actually, now's the time to check whether anything has taken off and uh, well if it has, it hasn't come past me. So I'll put the specs on and we'll have a look at this bit of video and this is where it comes in very handy through the uh, spotter. You can go back and double check your shot and review it and then we do a trajectory Ooh. that's directly in line it's very very close I'll actually pause it there I'll take a screenshot take another one now it actually did tell me to adjust up 8.9. I've adjusted to 9 and held directly on. So it's very, very close. But for the sake of making an adjustment to get it spot on, I would say that shot is about an inch, possibly two inches out. But because um, I've actually gone 0.1 minute of angle, at 600, it was a shot it was 610, 0.1 minute of angle out, because it's telling me to adjust 8.9, I've adjusted to 9. So 0.1, roughly, over 600 yards, is going to be about half an inch. So it's very little. But, looking at that shot, I would say that's about 2 inches over. It's always hard when you look at the dust, it's always nice on wet ground. But I am now going to do a what they call a trajectory validation for that round, and it's, it was actually 610 yards. I go back into muzzle velocity, which again I'll take a snapshot of that. Now I had the muzzle velocity at 3150. Uh, I'm going to now put in the drop which I'm going to say was, we'll say two inches. And then the range, 610 yards. Now, again, I'll take another screenshot of that so you can see. And then basically I'm going to hit the correct velocity. And we'll see. It's actually saying that this has run at 31.93. I know they're fast, and that was off a clean barrel. So this is where sometimes it pays to do a, a, you know, a double check. But either way, 600 yards, a couple of inches out, that could have been me too. There's so many variables with this long range shooting. Most important thing, that first shot would have been a dead deer. No problem whatsoever. I'm going to just set this probably in between probably run it I'll go back in and I'll 
I'm going to drop that velocity. I think it's probably somewhere around 3160. You sort of, you do get a feel for this sort of thing after a while. Um, and coal barrels, I find, especially with this rifle, it tends to be a little bit faster on your first shot. So I think it's pretty, pretty good. And especially if I can put it in this sort of, that sort of di diameter, it's out to my hunting range with this rifle, it would be no problem at all. Most deer would go down. 